Right, so in the uh, previous tutorial we have seen that uh, how we can uh, sign up a basic use object but uh, yeah as I mentioned before there is no proper uh, validation mechanisms that we have implemented so let's let's try to implement that right now uh, so what we can do is that uh, we can implement those validation logics uh, by specifying validate field over there uh, so when it comes to email validation uh, if you are familiar with these backend stuff uh, you know we are using some sort of regular expression to check uh, whether the email is in the uh, correct uh, format or not uh, so we can use the uh, that sort of a regular expression over here but uh, in express.js you have a lot of libraries uh, and uh, node modules that you can use easily for this uh, sort of stuff so uh, we need a new package called uh, validator so this validator package contain all the necessary uh, validation stuff uh, that are using in the sort of backend development so once you install that uh, first we need to construct uh, a constant over here so let's say validator and let's require it so now we can use that data object and now we can uh, yeah we should be able to use the functions inside inside of this validator but uh, yeah yes code must suggest those stuff but yeah first let's let's try to use that then we can check whether it is working correctly or not oh yeah maybe if i put that colon over there and let's now check that is oh uh, no but yeah, i i think this this is the function so let's give it a try and if it is not the case we can make any uh, exception by saying please enter a valid email address all right so yeah so now let's let's try this thing again so go to the postman and i will enter some sort of invalid email address over there so let's try to remove this one and try to invoke the message again yeah it simply says input uh, data is invalid and uh, you need to uh, enter a valid email address all right so it's working correctly and uh, yeah in the similar fashion we need to implement uh, a validation logic for these uh, password and confirm password checking so you can use uh, uh, some sort of a function that is provided by this validator library but uh, what i'm going to show you is that uh, how to construct your own uh, validator functions at the uh, module classes so first we need this validate field and inside this validate field we can construct a validator right so this validator is basically a function and uh, it will take some sort of item as a parameter and it will do the checking so what we need to check about this item is with this password so item is simply the value that we are passing with this confirm password so we need to check that whether our item is similar as the password that we have entered before and if it is correct it will return a true as a value and if it is not correct which means they are this mess uh, not matching uh, uh, so it will return 
false and uh, either case in either way if you want to uh, make an exception message which means the password the uh, mismatching then you can use this message field and pass that message with it so let's say uh, passwords are not matching something like that all right uh, I think how this should work so let's try that out uh, so by using your postman now let's add a valid email address but with the uh, with a invalid password right so I, I have removed 8 and 9 and the confirm password so it should invoke the error for us yeah it says that um, confirm password is ah yeah <laughs> it is the uh, previous exception uh, but yeah uh, I think uh, these sort of error message that we need to prevent right otherwise it will expose all the details for us so let's check our operational status so it is in the true um, the global error handler uh, the send error for production uh, yeah it is in true mode right yes better I think this is false otherwise it is it seems to be exposing a lot of details for us now let's try to send it again yeah now it simply says something went wrong okay uh, so this is the message that uh, that will be visible for the uh, for the user right uh, but yeah for the development perspective that true will be okay so then we can have a much better uh, error handling over there right so it is short so let's try to add some sort of invalid characters I mean these are valid characters but uh, now the passwords are not matching right yeah so it simply says uh, passwords are not matching and uh, yeah it works correctly so yeah if, if I entered the correct password then these are matching yeah it it simply says duplicate field because it is trying to save uh, but the object resides already in the database so let's remove it and let's try to re again yes now it's working correctly uh, so now we have a proper uh, way of validation of our user schema but again this is not perfect because you can see that uh, the passwords are exposed so we need to uh, protect these stuffs as well and uh, let's see how we can do that 